everyone, I'm Terry G. This is an alcohol-free life channel where we learn to live sober one day at a time. If you could take a second, can you please subscribe to my channel? And again, thanks a lot for stopping by. What I wanna talk about today is three keys that will help you in your journey of recovery. I know they helped me a lot in early recovery and I still do it to this day and I have many years of contented sobriety. The first key to a great foundation in sobriety is honesty. Being honest with ourselves. There's somebody who walked the earth over 2000 years ago and he said, the truth shall set you free. And it really, really does. Being honest with our drinking, being honest with other people, being honest with ourselves will really help you recover from this awful disease of alcoholism. It really will. It helped me find myself. It helped me identify with myself. It helped me build boundaries, understand my needs and wants. Honesty will unlock a really new life for you, believe it or not. But for myself, honesty was difficult at the beginning. I had a lot of fear, a lot of shame, and a lot of guilt attached to it. But being honest with myself, I was able to be honest with other people around me and they were able to help me what was going on with me. It really, really works. And finding somebody you can be honest with, talk to, and get down to the, the nitty gritty of what you're thinking, how you see things, can really unlock a new world for you. So honesty is one of the biggest keys to develop, especially in early sobriety. And we always have to practice that because you know, an alcoholic will lie when the truth will do. I don't know about you, but I lied a lot in my drinking and that habit took a while to get over and I had to learn to be honest with myself and not be afraid to tell the truth to somebody else. And because of that, I've gotten better and it gets easier over time. The second key is open-mindedness. Keeping an open mind, letting go of those old beliefs, letting go of those old fears, letting go of those old, you know, those old belief things, the things that we thought worked for us and letting new ideas in, letting people suggest things to us that will help us. Keeping an open mind when you're having a dispute with somebody, when you're talking to your children, when you're talking to your employer, when you're talking to your employees, can really help you with the situation. We are not always right. Alcoholics have a tendency to see the world black and white. There's no gray. And when we have an open mind, we can let ourselves go and tune in to new ideas of how to be sober, how to improve our relationships, how to be a better person. But to, an open mind is very important. And to this day, it helps me when I'm talking to people, to keep an open mind. My views are not always right. I don't have to be right all the time, but at least keep an open mind to new ways of sobriety. When somebody suggests something to you or to me, in this day, you know, I still have problems. I call my sponsor up or my mentor and he tells me something to do and I keep an open mind and I will try it and see what happens. And because I have an open mind most of the time, when anger comes in, the mind shuts tight, but hopefully after that, and usually does, I have an open mind again and I'm open to suggestions and I'm open to problem solving. So keep an open mind is really key to a great foundation or sobriety it really is key and if you have an open mind throughout your sobriety you will keep growing and that's one of the key things about it is that it keeps us in this learning mode that we don't know everything and we can move along in our in life and keep learning about things we're not closed-minded things are not black and white you know why because we have an open mind so an open mind is the second key the third one is probably the most the, the most important one for me anyways and i think it's probably for you too and what that is is willingness having the willingness to be honest having the willingness to have an open mind having the willingness to try new things having the willingness to give it a shot when you don't know what you're doing or how to do it and that happened to me a lot i was so drunk 
and stoned all the time and had a shitty childhood, when it came to dealing with things, I really didn't know what to do. So having the willingness to ask people for help, turning it over to a higher power, saying, I can't do this, but I am willing to try my sobriety. I'm willing to try this sobriety stuff and learn from other people. Tell me what to do and I will do it. I will do anything to get sober and to have a better life. And that's where I was at when I was in early sobriety. I was sick and tired of being sick and tired, but I was willing to do anything to become a better human being to myself and to the world around me. So willingness is number three, but it should be number one because when you need that willingness to work the rest of the program, to move forward in your life, to learn new things. So willingness is key and I can't express it enough. So that is the three keys of sobriety that'll start you off. It's not all your sobriety, but it'll sure keep you moving in the right direction. And when you spell, the first letter from each of those will spell the word how, and that's how you do it. Honesty, open-mindedness, and willingness to change and get in there and work on your sobriety. Sobriety can be difficult, it can be boring, it can be depressing, it can cause a lot of pain. Just right on the other side of that is the miracle or the great things that'll happen. We have to go back sometimes in our past or do things that make us afraid in our sobriety that will help us a great deal. So be honest with yourself, for sure be honest. Have an open mind that your way never worked and maybe there's different ways of doing things and people do have different opinions about things and the world is not so black and white. And the biggest one, be willing to do something about it. Have the willingness to change in all areas of your life, okay? The miracle is just right around the corner. Thanks a lot for stopping by and watching my this video. I really appreciate it. This is an alcohol, free life channel where we learn to live sober one day at a time. If you can take a second, can you please smash that like button and hit the subscribe button? I'd really appreciate it. My name is Terry G. Thanks a lot for stopping by and I'll see you next week. And I hope you're clean and sober and God is on your side. God bless. Take it easy. Guess what? I got my second shot and a lot of people around here are getting their second shot for COVID. So things are slowly opening up. The face-to-face -face meetings will return. Things will get back to normal. And you know something? I'm going to stay sober through it. And I'm going to get out there and help other people. And always have an open mind and a willingness to change. And stay honest in my life. Okay? Thanks a lot. And ciao for now. Bye-bye.